Guild Lodge is a secure mental health hospital for men and women from Lancashire and South Cumbria. Guild Lodge also offers a specialist acquired brain injury service nationally. This film has been created for the family and friends of new patients at Guild Lodge. We hope that it will give you a better understanding of the hospital and reassure you that your loved one will be taken care of. The hospital is located in the beautiful grounds of Guild Park, about four miles north of the city of Preston in Lancashire. Guild Lodge has 164 beds providing medium secure, low secure and step down care. As a care provider we are regulated by the Care Quality Commission, CQC, who ensure that health and social care services provide people with safe, effective, compassionate and high quality care. The CQC also encourages services to make continuous improvements. We receive regular inspections and the latest inspection reports can be found on the internet at www.cqc.org.uk. If you have arrived by car there is plenty of parking space for you and there is also a regular bus service with a stop just outside the main entrance. Upon arrival you will be greeted by our friendly reception staff and you can inform them of who you are here to visit. While you wait, there are toilet facilities, refreshments and carer information available in the waiting area. As we are a secure unit, like everybody else, you will be required to go through our controlled entrance and exit system. Once your visit has been verified and you have placed your mobile phone and keys and any other prohibited items away in one of the lockers, you will be called to enter through the first set of electronic doors. Then, as they have shut, the second set of doors will open for you to walk through. This is essential for the safety and security of the hospital. Lots and lots of protocols set in for safeguards, but at the first instance, everybody was so helpful. For myself, it started off with a very, very long corridor with all the doors closed. And as the time went on, there was just more and more doors open, and it got lighter and better. The constant backwards and forwards to the to the places, you need that as much as they need it because it's the only way you're going to get some sort of satisfaction, some sort of family connection with the people that's in there. Most visits happen on our wards in a quiet area. On your first visit, the ward team will inform you about what items you can bring into the hospital and the general arrangements for visits. There's also a family room for visits to take place away from the ward. The family room is an informal and comfortable visiting space where family and friends can meet patients and spend some time together. There is a small play area for children, comfy settees to relax on and even an outdoor area if people want some fresh air. All visits where there are children happen in the family room. The period of time you spend on your visit can vary but you can book in for as many visits as you would like. The overall purpose of our service is to provide high standards of assessment, care and treatment for people with mental health needs in a safe and secure environment. Whilst Guild Lodge is a secure mental health hospital, it provides all of the services you would expect from a mental health service. Each service user has an individual plan to help them recover, supported by a range of health professionals. All service users at Guild Lodge have mental health needs and have behaviours that are likely to place themselves and others at risk. Each ward has access to an outdoor space where people can relax, chat with friends and feel the freedom of the outdoors. The wards are connected by communal spaces and pathways that, like the Guild Park grounds, are beautifully landscaped ensuring that service users feel that they are in a place where nature can help aid the recovery journey too. As well as great facilities, there is a multidisciplinary team of professional staff that will directly care for your loved one here at Guild Lodge. They include a medical team, a nursing team, a psychology team, an occupational therapy team, a social work team, and of course, a very important component to complete the circle of care, yourselves. However long that will take to open that last door, at least I've got the confidence that is well looked after and was all the way through the system. 
As well as providing excellent mental health care at Guild Lodge, we also have a range of facilities that they might expect out in the community. These include a physical health clinic, like you would find at a GP surgery, and a dentist. There is also an on-site finance department and shop where they can maintain responsibility for their own money. We offer the highest standard of inpatient accommodation and our vigorous building programme over the last few years has meant that the majority of wards now have a very contemporary look to them. Wards are well designed, spacious and safe. Each ward is single sex and includes bedrooms that patients can personalise, shared kitchen facilities, rest areas where people can read, make a drink or just relax and larger communal spaces where patients can watch TV or play games together. These serve as the dining space too. At mealtime, service users can pick from a varied menu that are cooked on site. On some wards, service users are encouraged to help prepare the food and clean up afterwards. These tasks help patients to maintain or improve their independence and skills, but also help them to work as part of a team on the ward. Staff also talk to patients about the importance of a good balanced diet for their health and they are able to choose their meals from a menu with a number of options. Within the step-down provision on the Guild Lodge site, there are a number of self-contained flats for people who are nearing the end of their stay and are preparing for life back in the community. The Therapeutic Resources Centre is open five days a week, Monday to Friday, but can be used outside these hours too. This is run by the Occupational Therapy Service. Here, patients can try their hand at particular activities as an aid to their recovery. We want to bring them learning opportunities that positively impact on their health and well-being. Encapsulated by our Lancashire Recovery College initiative, it's a non-clinical approach that recognises the importance of lived and professional experience in creating accessible and engaging learning opportunities. Activity spaces in the Therapeutic Resources Centre building include a TV and games area, a ceramic studio for work with clay, a library where people can read or study, and an art room where they can paint, print or do 3D sculpture. Performances also occur in the main room of the Therapeutic Resources Centre, and there is a guild band that people can join. Other buildings run by the Occupational Therapy Service include the Gleedale Social Centre, where patients can enjoy relaxation time in the cafe, play pool, do art activities, karaoke and many other things. At the Tarnbrook Vocational Centre they can learn computer skills, take part in woodwork classes, learn about growing flowers and fruit and try their hand at bike repairs and creating metal artworks. There is also a restroom and a kitchenette. For those who like to use up a bit more energy, there is the Sports and Leisure Centre where patients can play football on our state-of-the-art all-weather pitch or in the sports hall they can play basketball and racket sports. This large space also gets used for conferences and exhibitions about mental health where we can connect with other service providers available out in the community. We also have a very well-fitted out gym for patients to maintain their physical fitness. As a part of the service, we also have a Grow Your Own project, which provides a natural area for patients to work in away from the main hospital. The project provides opportunities for service users and staff to grow food together for the Guild Lodge kitchen. The fact that you are watching this film means that undoubtedly you and your loved one will have been through a very difficult and worrying time. However, we hope that having seen it, you've been reassured that here at Guild Lodge, we have the best interests of your loved one at heart, just as you do. On top of this, we work to all of the regulated professional standards and we are continually trying to improve the level of the support we offer. As you can see, we also back this up with considerable investment in facilities and time devoted to the patients. Time that goes way beyond their general safety, administering of medication and practical support. We understand the importance of person-centred approaches for patients and their care plan extends into assisting patients on improving self-motivation through meaningful activity. 
The aim being not only to enable your loved one to recover from the difficult period they have been through, but also to increase their self-esteem with a view to making that positive next step. Armed with a new set of skills and a plan going forward. Then the magical moment comes when you've gone through all the protocols, you've gone through all the tests, the individual nights away, and then you move back into society. That's when you really feel that you've achieved something. And without the hospital, you wouldn't achieve that, personally, because there wouldn't be the continuity there. There's no continuity outside the hospital. Thank you for taking the time to watch the film. If you have any further questions about our service, or if you'd like to make some suggestions towards your loved one's care, we would love to hear from you. Please contact us by phone through the reception staff on 01772 773698. You will also receive the contact details of the ward manager for the ward your loved one is on. They will be more than happy to help with any queries that you have. Thank you.